Meet Spencer Julian, the second year power engineering student planned to do his work placement at INCO, but couldn't after the company decided not to give students placements this year. You've got to be disappointed. Like, this is, uh, I plan on working at INCO in the future, too, like when I'm done this, right? So it's been uh, kind of the dream, I guess. Julian is just one of the hundreds of Cambrian students who are left without a placement this year. INCO is one of the companies that takes the most placements from Cambrian College. Michelle Barbeau is the Dean of Trades. It has happened quicker or than, than anticipated, if you want. If you want. Uh, we knew that the uh, highs that we were experiencing in the uh, mining sector could not last forever, but we did not know that the bottom would fall off. To help the students, some programs are switching the semester students usually go on placement with a semester at the school. That way, students can remain in class while the economy is struggling and go on placements later. We talked to a Valet Inco spokesperson, and he told us the reason that Inco can't take any placements this year is simply because there's no room. That's because after the closure of the Coppercliff South Mine, 350 employees needed to be reassigned throughout Inco. That left no room for placement students. And that leaves Julian looking for a new way to finish his education. Because I'm from here, like I could have lived at home and I could have went to see, you know, work at five minutes down the road, but now I gotta go find a place, I gotta find an apartment or something, I gotta pay, you know, food, rent and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to get, uh, get your placement done, right, so. For Cambrian College Television, I'm Andrew Lowe.